there is a new battle simulator that just released on the Steam store. In Warbox Sandbox, you can pick from a variety of maps with time-specific units. You can change their clothes and the weapons they're using, and simply by clicking anywhere on the map, you can place as many units as your computer can handle. And using these mechanics, you can recreate D-Day, fight in the trenches of World War One, or perform your very own medieval castle siege. And in this Warbox Sandbox gameplay, I intend to answer the following question. Just how good is this new battle simulator? To find out, we will be storming the beaches of Normandy, creating a World War I trench charge, and defending this castle against the zombie hordes. And it goes without saying, the first one that we will be tackling is of course the Normandy landings. Over here, we have got a group of American soldiers, and on the side, we've also got the Brits, and they will be storming the beaches against dug-in German defenders, who will be manning pillboxes, bunkers, and sandbags. If the Allies can take this beach from the Germans, then the battle is not yet over, because in Warbox Sandbox, the maps are absolutely massive. In fact, just to demonstrate that, I think I might just continue scrolling out here until you get a little bit of a better understanding of just how big these maps are. After taking the beach, the fortress, and the trenches, they then have to capture this village, and finally, they will make their way over this bridge and and into these Germans. They're pretty well dug in, and they've even got sniper towers to help defend it. So yeah, this is going to be a big and long battle, and I don't think the Allies are gonna manage it, because, I don't know, nothing ever seems to work on my channel, does it? <clears throat> yeah, good luck, boys. Um, You're not gonna survive this. Okay, here we go. The Normandy invasion begins. What does he have? I've already lost some health points. I don't particularly want to be the first one to die on the beach. I can't tell if I'm hitting him. Yes, there we go. MG42 down. I'm on 69 health points. Let's go. Oh, look at all the bodies here. I, I don't think that's a good place to stand. Okay, it looks like the men are moving in. Come on, boys. Let's go. There's a German officer running down onto the beach. Oh my god, he's got balls of steel. Can you teabag in this? No, you can't crouch. Oh, I'm just gonna stand here over his body then. <laughs> and now that we're going first person, I can just see the amount of bodies down here. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of machine gun up here. Oh, is that an enemy? I think it is. Yes, it is an enemy. No! Don't kill me. Don't kill me. 27 health. Boys, why are you just standing down there. You need to get in there. They don't seem particularly... Nah, if that guy just singles me out, I'm gonna be fuming. If he just single... Okay, good effort. Come on, boys. We need to get these guys. This is really not going well, is it? For some reason, they keep just charging us. Okay, here we go. The boys are moving in. Come on. Who we got? Who we got? Okay, more Germans moving in. Come on. I, why am I never reloaded? There we go. Shot in the back. Lovely stuff. He's got an MP40. Come on. Did I miss that? Did I really... Oh my god, I'm dead. Let's just take a second to acknowledge all the allied bodies left on the beaches of Normandy here. But one thing that is great about Warbox sandbox is you see this cheeky little eye over here. Wait one second, I'll show you that in a second. I just kind of want to see this 1v1. Oh, it's, it's not gone well for us, has it? But as I was gonna say, if I click this eye, I can spawn in the next wave. The next wave of Brits has landed on the beaches, and the Germans have actually moved in to kill the next set of reinforcements. This is actually tragic. <laughs> oh, bro, this site right here is so cursed. Oh, you're about to witness an execution shot in the back. These lads with the STGs are elite, okay? Maybe they're not that elite. Okay, here we go. The Brits are entering no man's land, slowly but surely, moving into to the town. Let's have a quick look at command and control over here. Yes, yeah, still tons of Germans there and even more Germans here. Oh, I think they're actually like, stuck under the camouflage net. And okay, we're now seeing contact with that position, but every Brit that walks out basically just gets immediately, wow, his arm came off. They're getting slaughtered, bro. What is that? All right, I'm spawning in a bunch of American soldiers in the middle here. I want to just see what these guys can do. Get out the trenches, do some killing. Go, 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 go. They have cleared the command and control nest of the Germans and now it looks like they're heading towards the bridge. Come on, boys, get in there. And we are getting a fight on our hands. Two of the guys in here have already been killed, and I don't know what the hell's happening to this guy. Let's see what this guy can do. Can he get any kills from in the sniper tower? Can he hold the bridge single-handedly? Oh, what a shot. Did he kill him? Oh, he did as well. Wow. There's, like, actual executions taking place outside this window. And I think that might actually be the last German in this battle. Okay, we're gonna go slow-mo here, and yeah, okay, yeah, he's dead. I think that was the final unit, so let's just assess the damage on this D-Day assault, which appears to have been successful. Although, admittedly, I did spawn in an additional, like, a, well, a lot of extra units. Yeah, as you can see, this is what it required to get off of the beaches. Considering it's a battle simulator, I would imagine the Normandy beaches looking 
quite similar to this. What do you reckon, mate? Do you think it's good? <laughs> what about you, mate? Wait, hold on a second. He's even giving me the finger. The next battle is a World War I trench charge. They've gone over the top and will be going directly into the British front lines. And they won't just be on the front line either. Because this battle will continue working its way back until we're out the trenches. What you're looking at will be the final defenses before the Brits have to start defending destroyed houses. Or never mind the houses, the British final stand will be in a barn. But before the Germans get there, they've got a lot of defenses to take down. Will the German trench charge be successful or will the British hold the line? Okay, here we go. 100 hit points. Come on, boys. Let's begin the trench charge. Where's the enthusiasm? Okay, here we go. This looks a little bit more like it. The boys are moving in. Can I snipe a one? Ah, I've taken some shots. Come on. I want one of those kills. Nice. One more. Come on. I got this one. Oh, miss. Come on. Down he goes like a sack of potatoes. We're actually taking this initial line of... Oh, God, no, actually. I don't want to be the first man in. You guys go first. I'll follow you. I don't want to end up like this guy here. Okay, back into first person mode. Come on, why am I never reloaded? Why do I... Oh, wow, my accuracy. Come on, bro. We can do better than that. Oh! <laughs> it doesn't matter what game I play. The team kills are gonna keep happening. Okay, I'm down to 32 hit points. I can probably take one more hit before I die. I've got to say, actually, this map does look pretty sick. Okay, we're now down in the trenches. That guy is... Uh, like, what is happening with these guys? I, I don't know, but I would like to... Okay, wow, I can't believe that guy got away there. Yo, look at this guy on the barbed wire rip. Is there still some soldiers in here? Yes, there is. I think it might be out of ammo. Um... Ah, oh, you what? He shot me through the wall. Little hacker. But that allows us to spectate the rest of the battle and watch that in the distance. And no, I don't mean that Zeppelin. I mean the final barn battle right here is taking place. Oh, wow. I think it's just two guys left. And uh, there's quite a few Germans left. So I don't think they're going to survive for much longer. There's one. And there's two. I believe that was the final unit. Boys, also, look at the bodies. It's honestly, like, it's so cursed. Look at this. There's just a pair of legs down here. Do, do they belong to you, sir? Would you would you like them back? Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's got his legs. So, so who the hell do they belong to? Oh, maybe they're his legs. You know that it's a good battle simulator game when you're quite literally finding body parts on the battlefield and then trying to find a body to allocate it to. Like, this isn't even close to... Oh, sorry. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this guy? Bro, that is a rough way to go. You can even see the trail. Bro, that is savage. Wait, I can still hear gunshots, I swear. It's not that guy in the bunker, is it? No way, he's still alive. The guy who killed me at the start of the battle is still alive. How has this happened? Yo, no, bro, there's two of them. How? Not to fear, ladies and gentlemen. I've got an idea. Let's send in a bunch of these guys just with their fists, okay? I just want to see what they can do with their hands. Um, it, ah, he's getting whacked over the top. Come <laughs> on, he's punched him through the window. Remember, this is a new battle simulator. Oh my god, that was a team kill, wasn't it? Good job, round of applause. This is a new battle simulator and it will be getting new updates. So there are quite a few wee bugs. That guy's dead. Good. Thank you. And I'm hoping that those bugs will be ironed out and the game will get better because it does have a lot of potential. Sir, would you like medical assistance? Oh no, never mind. He's got a bullet hole through the head. Now, I just realized I did that last World War One trench charge wrong. The British defense setup was fine, but the German charge was done by guys holding guns, so they didn't actually charge in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my German soldier. I'm going to make sure he's only got his fist equipped, and then we're just going to spawn tons and tons and tons of them. And so what this means is all of these guys will literally just run into their deaths. Okay, what do you reckon to that? Just a bunch of unarmed Germans running into battle. Giving me real Soviet Union vibes, if I'm honest. And this time, I'm going to play as a British soldier. Here we go. Oh my god, this is going to be incredibly cursed. I've made a terrible mistake. What am I doing? Why did I do that? Why, what on earth have I decided to do this for? Mistakes were made. I ran into combat too early. Let's go first person here. This guy's looking like he wants a headshot. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? <laughs> Whoa. How have I taken so much damage? Did he just survive a headshot? How is... How is... Oh, my God. They're swarming! Run! Run! It's so cursed, but it's also... Yeah, nah, 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 nah. He just survived a headshot. What about this guy? Oh, uh, what? I'm sorry. That is outrageous. Look at him. If he survives another one, I swear. Okay, there we go. Look at this guy up on the hill. I'm gonna go join him up there. Something tells me we might win this battle. Look at how they run. It's also, it's just hilarious how they run. Yo, how are they surviving headshots? I'll never know. This is very upsetting. You're in my spot. This is my spot. No. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna use him for a meat shield because the boys have arrived. Nah, that's outrageous behavior. How did he sponge that shot? It literally shot him in the face. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. 
Nah, that is outrageous. Headshot mechanics. Come on, where are they? You, sir, stay still, stay still. Oh, don't you try and punch me, mate. This isn't a bar fight. There we go, that's what you get. I just got, I got shot by my own squad, mate. You know, get off me, get off me. <laughs> the way they run, mate, this is hilarious. Honestly, fun battle simulator. Definitely got a lot of things they need to improve on. Aw, oh, bro, they killed me. Okay, I think we managed to slaughter all of the unarmed German soldiers. Should I feel proud about that accomplishment? I don't know, but for some reason I do. Like, I enjoyed that. I feel, feel really good. Remember at the start of the video, I said to you that the maps are absolutely enormous. Well, look at this one. There's multiple empires on the same map. And yes, you see that. There are so many locations for gate defenses, bridge battles, as well as a good old fashioned siege. I've got to say, this is almost definitely the most impressive map I've seen recently on any of these games. To be honest, this map puts a lot of other battle simulators to shame. But what we're going to do with this this map is of course a bridge battle where the medieval army has to take down this zombie horde. They've got infantry in the front lines, bowmen on either side of the bridge, terrifying halberd looking units, and then look at these guys here. These guys look like they mean business. Check out the armor. Once we go through that door, you'll see we have got more bowmen on either side. Then finally, more chump infantry followed by two-handed swordsmen. But the question is, can the medieval kingdom hold the castle? I'm gonna make myself a heavy knight and let's carry a spy hander. In other words, a two-handed sword. I've only got 140. Yo, I just got that guy. Okay, I'm sorry. What's going on? Oh, why is that guy shooting? Oh, I think I picked, because I picked a different color. I think I picked an enemy team. So uh, yes, what's going to happen is my guy just got slaughtered. Let me try that one more time. Anti-climax much? You've come to expect it on my channel. Let's be honest. Reload the battle. Hopefully this time they're not going to kill me. Although I am still going to get revenge on this guy for shooting me in the face anyway. There we go. But unfortunately, I have also now got myself a little bit stuck. I'm now in the heat of battle. I'm, I don't, I don't trust. Okay, yeah, nah, it's not going well, is it? Come on then, boys. Come on. That's what I thought. Get some. 61 health. Come on. 50 health. No, he's got me. Why won't you die? Oh, they're coming round for me. They're coming round for me. Why won't you just die? Please, please. Okay, there we go. That's one. That's one. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna... No! No! Oh, five hit points. Can I get these guys? If they... Can I, like, just take his ankles off? Yes. Nice. I can't believe it. That's hilarious. What about this guy here? Come on, nice and close. Nice and- Nah, come on now. Okay, how is the rest of the bridge defense going? I'll be honest. It doesn't look like it's going particularly well. The zombies are just slowly but surely moving in. My heavy knights are being swamped. And now we're down to the chump units and one archer here. Let's see what you can do. Please retreat. Come on, get a shot. There we go. Come on, the, the archers are in. Nice, look at this. Big lad's here as well. Oh, maybe they can hold the fortress. The big lad with us. Oh, he just team killed. Good effort me and wow team killed then died what's happened to that body there can the archers save the day though i mean this guy's found himself in a bit of a predicament but can the archers save him oh he's he, he, bro you better get out of there pretty quickly oh right the zombies are entering the fortress but we've still got a couple of soldiers here look at this lads and the archers are actually legitimately whistling down these guys i don't believe it can you imagine why did that guy get so close there the swordsman is running back into the battle here come on how long is he gonna last for the zombies aren't going for him him. Look at that. He's an absolute warrior. He doesn't need any. Oh, I was going to say he doesn't need any armor, but he most definitely does. Is that only four zombies left? Have these guys legitimately done it? Look at these archers. They're actually legit sick, bro. Look at this. They're just like running around popping headshots. Watch this guy. Oh, right in the neck. Oh, wait, they two of them just shot each other. <laughs> Good. Oh, wow. God, that guy got sat down. Is this the final archer remaining? I think it might be. Okay, here we go. He's going to take a shot. He's going to take a shot. One in the chest. Come on, aim for the head. Aim for the head. Let's slow this down nice and slow. Come on. Is it? Oh, no. Come on, make this one count then. There we go. That's what we want to see. Look how many bodies there are, but also look how many zombies. There's actually still a lot of them. Talk about backing yourself into a corner. Mate, what's are you doing? You just made some terrible life decisions. Oh, I can't believe he survived that. How is he not dead yet? Like, legitimately, how has he managed to survive this? Why is the AI... Oh, God. Okay. Rip. Lol. He say me rolling. They hate him. Which suggests to me that that battle may have been a zombie victory. It's officially a zombie fortress. Okay, tell me in the comment section what you thought of that new battle simulator, and if you want me to play this game again, make sure your voice is heard. I do the videos you guys 
guys want to see so it gets lots of comments and lots of likes I'll do it again as for my opinion on this game I would say it's a lot of fun it's got a lot of potential but there definitely needs to be a few extra features in terms of a cinematic modes just a little bit of optimization on the UI as well as the AI being a bit buggy and a bit janky but other than that it's fun and with new updates on the way I'm sure it will get better as well if you're not subscribed make sure you do that right now turn notifications on and join my discord that's it for warbox sandbox goodbye